All right, hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to start this video from inside the car because it's super windy outside and I don't have a mic for this camera yet. Um, so it's going to be a lot of wind noise. But in today's video, we're going to be taking out this driver's seat. Um, it have got a full leather interior and the only seat that's damaged is the driver's seat. It's got a big tear on it. So that's one reason I wanted to get rid of it. Um, and the other reason is being a B-series, can't pump heap, heaps of power into the motor without sending a rod or something so i felt thought i'd make the car feel cool um to drive and i always wanted to do like a bucket seat and a dish steering wheel and stuff like that before so that is something that'll come as steering wheel um and a big shifter will be coming later um i just got a email off adam adam lz or lz mfg website that that has been shipped out so that should be coming soon but for now, we're going to take the seat out. We're going to put in a um, Bride Lomax, uh, just a rep seat. I'm not buying a real seat because it'll probably cost nearly as much as I paid for this whole car. Um, but apart from that, let's just get into it, pull this seat out. Um, and I should run you through how you put these seat rails and stuff on. I had a look at it last night and found a couple little tricks with how to do it um, and how to get the seat to move a little bit further and stuff. Um, but yeah, so might as well just jump into it now and hope you enjoy the video. Alright, and so to start, well, first we need to get rid of this paint can and then we just need to get this mat out of here. Which for some reason was, oh, I thought maybe it was upside down, but that's not good, but it's like a plastic one. Um, so we'll chuck this over to the side. We got Craig doing our other video for us at the moment while we do this. Um, and then these things are a bit of a pain, but you need to get these plastics off. Alright, so this back part should kind of unclip. There we go. And then maybe the front part will be easier to get off. Yeah, maybe this part will be easier. I need to get the trim removal, I think. Alright, so this was a pain to get off. If you try and get these off, and you're having a pain. Right, the way I found is you put your little finger in there, and I can pull it up, pull my fingers around to it, and I can pull it out. Um, and then this one should just come off easy. I've never seen a little... Oh, that's part of that seat. That's why it come off so easy. Um, so yeah, now we just need to get Torx head, take these four bolts out, undo these clips. This chair should come out. Alright, so these are a T50, I believe. Yep. So that's T50, it's going to undo all these, I'll fast forward the hell out of this video. Um. Oh, 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 oh,
All right, so now got all them bolts out. That took about 10 minutes because that one there was a pain in the ass. Um, but now we just need to put this seat up. Trying to see if I can push it up. Okay, so I just need to put the seat up a bit and pull those clips out. I um, don't think I'll really be able to hold the camera and do that at the same time, so I'll just pull those out. Try and pull this. Is this time lapse or record? Fucked. I um, I had it happen to me the other day before I sold my GoPro. I do time lapses on my GoPro and they went fine. I remember you telling me about it taking pictures of photos. Yeah. I fucking done it to me the other day. And I'm like, what the? All right, so the camera's about to go flat, but this is the new seat. Um, it's meant to have another little pillow that goes on there. So we're going to put this new rail that's over here that bolts on the bottom. Um, I'll do that while I go charge the battery up for a little bit, and then. We'll come back to it when we're putting the seat in. All right, so we've got the seat in here. Um, again, these seat rails aren't that great of a quality and the holes don't line up very well. So we'll see how we go with trying to bolt it in. Um, but we might have to try and modify them a little bit, I think, because at the moment it looks like they're not gonna line up. Um, but we'll see how we go anyway. All right, so we did get these bolts all in a so, but we had to do like a stupid pattern. So you had to do that one there first, then that one, so the two fronts. Um, push it back, get this bolt here in, um, and then this one last. But when we did this one, we had to loosen that front one heaps so that we could push the seat forward to put it in. And now we're gonna have to kind of tighten that and bend the bracket down into it. Um, bit of a stuff around, but just thought I'd show you this because it's going to be a bit of a short video and I can't really explain too much. It's a fairly easy thing to do. Um, so I just want to try and help you as where I can. But yeah, so we're just going to tighten these bolts all the way up now. Put the rails in. Um, and yeah, see how it is. I didn't mean the freaking rails. I mean the pillow things for the seat because they're not in it yet. Um, and the seat kind of looks like it's crooked. So I'm hoping it's not doesn't feel too crooked because... Along there, it feels like it looks like it's crooked. Um, but yeah, see how we go. 